Cowabunga gamers, welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 2 Expert Unofficial. Last time we started our liquid journey, we managed to fill out most of um, most of the liquids here. Uh, in between episodes, I got the Terra Steel Seed and AFK'd a bit, so we're up to 1800 Terra Steel. Um, I also, oh, I, we can't melt it that way. Uh, I also got the armor fully upgraded to Draconic, so we should be ready to fight the uh, the uh, Chaos Dragon. Oh. So we'll be doing that uh, shortly, hopefully. But first, I'd like to finish up the, um, the liquids, since we're almost there. Oh, uh, we should also get the remaining three of these, which should be s easier now that we have Terra Steel automated. So here's our Marion bucket. Thankfully, this was pretty easy. Uh, where did this even go? Right there. Okay, so now all we need is the neutron fluid and corium. Uh, we're going to work on the neutron fluid first. Uh, for that, we need a fusion reactor, and I haven't done a fusion reactor from Mechanism in a while. So this might be a bit of trial and error. Thankfully, those are pretty cheap. Then we can get the electromagnets. We should have all of this on autocraft already. It should just be more a matter of figuring out how to build it. So let's get like a hundred of these, and then a hundred of these. We need, are we, what? We are low on redstone. Well, how, how do you like that? We, tier five, should we, uh, do we need to get another tier five? You know what? We should just get a tier five, right? A tier five void or miner. Since we need so much. Let's see, tier five. Void or miner. What is what is this? Oh, this is the um the resource miner. Tier four, tier five, we just need two iridium plates. That requires no redstone. So let me get a tier five set up mining redstone since we are in dire need of that. We needed a tier five anyway. Um. And honestly, as much as I love this, I might just boil it down to the macerator, the macerator and the uh, furnace, just because uh, it's a bit slow. And taking a look at this, at our resources right now, we don't really need anything else. We have so much of everything, titanium actually. Yeah, we have so much resources, we don't really need to 5 exit anymore. So I might set that up um, quickly if we need to. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get the tier 5 set up and I'll bring you back once we're ready to build the fusion reactor. Okay, and we're back. A uh, few things between the cut and now. I got a tier 5. Um, Void ore miner up and running. Um, we had lit literally run out of uh, redstone and tin, and we weren't getting that from the tier six. Um, I also set this up. Uh, this is sort of just the backup. It's the macerator and the electric furnace. Got that set up. That's sort of a backup in case we ever run out of um, sulfuric acid here, which we have. Um, but other than that, 
um, we are ready to make the... Oh, and our drives are slightly filled up here. Anyway, uh, we're ready to make the fusion reactor. Uh, from my understanding, it's something like this. It's been a while since I made one of these. I also took a look at uh, the mod spotlight in the quest book here for fusion core. Um, I should told you how much you need, but it doesn't. So uh, we're sort of winging that part of it. But yeah, it's literally just this over and over again. So I'll probably cut here and bring you back once it's been like formed. Okay, so this should be it. This should hopefully be formed. Fusion ring incomplete. Okay, what are you forgetting? Ah. Sick, so now we just need some of these. Uh, I wanna say here. Yeah, so that's, they're slowly getting power, seemingly. Um, so let's do that as well. Yeah, so these will slowly gain power. And then I will just do this on this end as well. Disabling the limit. So while those like fill up, let's just take a quick look at our power. If we're no, we are still completely maxed, so we're still good on power, at least for the time being. Okay, so we need to figure out because we need. Neutronium fluid, or neutron fluid. This comes from deuterium. It comes from deuterium and tritium, which we have. Um, ooh, tritium and tritium seem to give us good value. So we may do that one. What is this? Lithium. Five hundred and fifty-six ticks. I think we want something like short. Two hundred and eight ticks. One hundred and four ticks. Base combo. Yeah. So we might not want this one. Eight hundred and sixteen. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Are these going to be gases or are these going to be liquids? 156, 104. So these are both going to be liquids. So we can get two uh, ender tanks. We can get red dye. And we can get green dye. And then for two of these, hold on. These aren't, these are going back and forth. What's up with that? Okay, okay. So let's try something different here. Since these don't seem to be getting powered correctly. So let's get some conduit. Uh, oh no, the pink one. Yeah. So get some pink conduit there. 
do that. Disable the limit. Is that, that seems to be doing better. Maybe so. Is it though? Let's get super, um, we may need superconductor conduits for this. Let's get a quick pattern in for them, right? Uh, superconductor, yep. Stellar, so if we get a hundred of these, what are we missing? Just the infinity which comes from that. That's actually really cheap, but it only works in the alloy smelter, specifically the Ender IO alloy smelter. So let's put it in there. Uh, if we get a hundred of these, is that going to behave? That seems to be behaving. And then, yeah. Okay, sick. So we can say bye bye to those. But now, will these work? So let's put them not on the corners, because that might have been it. Disable the limit on this. It is. There we go. Disable limit output 26 million. Holy shit. Input 5 million, output 2 million. Okay. So, so far we seem to be doing fine on power. It's going to bug me that those aren't lined up, aren't they? So let's move this inner one here. And then it's on the third one. So this one, yeah. Limit disabled. Okay. Limit disabled. So we'll let that go for a bit. And where were we? We were trying to set up the ender tanks. So we want green for tritium, and then red for deuterium, right? Yeah. Store temperature. Now, how do we put it in here? Just like this, I guess. Insert. Let's make it lime for deuterium. And then we can do red for. if this will work we'll find out insert on red and extract on red okay let's go fill these up that's going to be over here we may need yeah we may need these on okay sick so yeah we will need these on the Rotary condensators, two of these. So we can put these, I don't know, like here. Yeah, let's put them here. We'll get some gas conduit here and here. Let's say gas conduit. 
Oh no. Shoot. I think I just need to face them the, this way. Yeah. So these are going to be condensating and you are going to be inserting on green. So let's put green here and red can go here. Liquid tritium, liquid. Okay, and then we just need power with, for these bad boys. We can use our new fancy uh, conduits. There we go. Uh, let's get some. Hold on. Why isn't this? What did I do? What's up? Uh, mech. There we go. I need all these. I don't have enough upgrades, which is fantastic. Let's make a few. Okay, sec. Yeah, liquid deuterium or liquid tri tritium, but this, okay. Why don't you want to work? Oh, I see what's happening. I see what's happening. All the power is going into the. <laughs> That's funny. All the power is being put into the uh, the conduit itself. You have power. You have power. Okay, I see. That makes sense. So now we should be able to put these in the right place. Okay. Okay. This is funny. Extract on red. Insert on red. This one. Nope. This one. Extract on lime green. And insert on lime. Beautiful. Okay. So now let's go check the fusion reactor. It is still mostly, mostly red. Liquid deuterium, liquid deuterium. There we go. Okay. So we need to figure out what the issue is here. Probably something similar to what we're, we were just facing. Where the conduits take up so, or have such a big buffer. Buffer, uh, network selection, disable buffer. We're gonna need some more points. Disable buffer, my network. Disable buffer, okay. I did these backwards. That's funny. So hopefully this works. Efficiency zero, temperature, power, energy, e magnets not powered. Ok, 
kind of tempted to put some in the corners here. Okay, there we go. So these two are fully powered, but these are not. Right there and right here. And then just do the same on the other side, I think. So this should hopefully Power, what's remaining? Yeah, those are powered. These are powered. Oh, wait, no. It looks like everything here is powered. E magnets not powered. Oh. Is it just that one spot? Looks like it. Looks like it is. Okay. That's good. You are getting that. There we go. Okay. Now, how do we turn this on? Oh, not powered. Something's not powered. think let's get some more points and just place them around oh actually no I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go there we're going to go there we got one there let's put one let's put one on all the corners and then for these Okay, uh, let's get a lever, maybe. Ooh, prevent input overflow, void leftover fluid, void. Okay. Do you need? Hmm. Temperature. Energy stored. Does this need power? <laughs> okay. I don't know what happened there, but it seemed to do something. Is the temp temperature is going down? Except when it's going up. Okay. So if we're doing this one, tritium, and its optimal temperature is 816. So it's not getting hot enough. Maybe this needs to be a plug. But we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. Asian energy. So energy stored, temperature. Oh, oh. The temperature is at 100%. Do we, doesn't need a lever. Okay, so it seems like we were doing this right, where we give it a point, 
temperature. Yeah, there we, there it goes. Okay. So I think I just had it in the wrong spot. But uh, yeah, so let's get a tank. Let's get two tanks actually. What, what are we making? We're making helium and then neutron fluid. So let's grab some conduits. Uh, grab some filters and then we can just place our tanks here and here nope these are why did I grab the bad ones I have the good ones on me sick okay so you are going to be Neutron fluid. We should be able to extract. There we go. And you are going to be a blacklist of neutron fluid. Right? And then let's get a trash can, liquid trash can that we can just place here. Because this is the only one we want. We only want. Let's get a plug. Let's get a plug. Might as well, right? And we can put this on solar. And this should give us, after a while, let's get a bucket preemptively. If we get a bucket, we can go, we can go any moment now. And there's a bucket of neutron fluid. Uh, we're going to let that keep going. Uh, I don't see why not. That might bite us later, but we're not using um, uh, deuterium or tritium. So that can go. You go right there. Fantastic. So all we need now, we just need to melt down a nuclear uh, fission reactor. So let's get, let's get a fission controller. We got some casings. We got some transparent ones and a bucket. bucket. We're going to do this out of the way. Yeah. Magnesium diborbane. How is this giving us problems? Did we solve this? Oh. Why do we have two of those? Oh, we can take the one out of the alloy furnace. I hope. There we go. Okay. Um, controller. We're going to need some fuel, uh, uranium, uh, uh, what's the, uh, fuel at, uh, nuclear, uh, at, nu uh, there we go. Depleted. Um, depleted new fuel. Here we go. Let's craft like 20 of these. LEU. Let's go over here. 
Okay. So controller. We don't need anything too fancy. Uh, this might be too big, actually. One, two, three. Yeah, we want like a three by three inside. Yeah, like this. Okay. The rest of that and then uh fusion uh fission casing so let's get like 40 more of these right yeah. okay so Casing incomplete. Why does this look dumb? Why does this look dumb? Oh. There we go. Then let's get a lever. Casing incomplete. What am, what am I forgetting? Oh, these, right? Casing incomplete. We don't need these. There we go. Okay, we need we need um cells. Let's get like ten of these. Right? Okay, okay, so I think this should be all we need. I hope. Uh, I've never, I've accidentally melted down a reactor before, but never like on purpose. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, fantastic. And there's our bucket of um, Corium. <laughs> okay, and um, with that, we have all the fluids for the uh, creative tank. Uh, what are these called? Catalyst? We have the ultimate catalysts. Now all we need is the chaos uh, core. And honestly, I think let's uh, I think we may have enough time to fight the chaos dragon, or at least um, try attempt to fight the chaos dragon. So let me put some stuff away, and. We shall see how that goes. So we have armor. I don't see why why not. I don't see why not, right? So let me get this. The only thing that might be stopping us would be the energy, but I don't I don't expect that to be an issue. So um uh what did the quest book say? It was like 10,000 blocks. Gas islands generate every 10, 10, 0. Okay, so let's go to X 10,000, Z 1,000. This way? This way. No. This way? Yeah, okay. 
We're going this way. Ooh. Uh, armor. This one? Uh, no. This one. Light speed modifier. Boost that bad boy. Okay. I'll bring you back once we're at the Chaos Islands. Okay, just coming back. We're getting close. We're almost at X10,000. Okay, there's X10,000. Let's make sure before we, um, before we get there, let's make sure that this is set for home. That's our oh shoot button. Let's get our draconic staff and our draconic bow. Put those away. And let's, ooh, let's go uh, try to find it. Or let's go find it. It should just be up here. Oh. Yep, we found it. We have found it. There's a Chaos Guardian. Well, here's hoping we don't die too bad. It's not here. Oh, there it is. Okay, we need to destroy these crystals. Right? Yep. I don't think that got destroyed. Oh, it might have gotten destroyed. Whoa! That was close. Let's back off. Let's back off. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, shoot. Yeah, we're ripping through our power here. So what I think I might do, add new chaos let's lock that just in case just in case I don't want to rip through okay let's go back this is not gonna end well there's no way This is hilarious. Okay, we need better power. We need more reserve power. Let's go home, recharge our stuff. Yeah, we melted through all our power there. Even a flux capacitor. Is how much does the um the uh this hold this holds two hundred fifty six million. I wonder if we can put holding on that. So let's make one of those really fast. Um, flux capacitor, we need this. So let's, let's make one of these, which should be pretty quick. And we'll see what kind of enchantments we can place on it. Cause I'm thinking if we can put like holding on it, that'd be pretty sick. Um, kind of unrealistic. But who knows? Okay, so we should be able to make one of these now. And then we should be able to get 
all the components of this. Yeah, that holds 64. Oh, we can put upgrades on these. So we can increase the RF capacity. Which is good. Okay. These are still crafting. How's that? This coming. This is going pretty well. Okay, so I think this might be where we wrap up for this episode. Next episode, um, I'll have the, I'll have this fully upgraded, um, to see how much energy it holds. Already, it holds more than what we already have, so that's good. Um, but yeah, next time we'll fight the Chaos Dragon, win, and come back and f complete the uh, uh, creative tank. Anyway, thank you for watching. I shall catch you next time.